Hey everyone, my name is Jake Morgan and I'm on the account executive team here at Resio. I'm going to create just a very short overview of the system, um, mostly just to show the interface and then a few of the workflows um, and speak to it at a higher level. Uh, of course, if you want a more detailed view or if you have specific questions, uh, feel free to reach out and we're happy to do that for you. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to start with the financial side of things and speak to a couple workflows there. And then I'll show more of the scheduling and, and project management side. So I'm starting us on the estimate because it's the starting point for a lot of the financial flow and workflows in Resio. And I populated this estimate from a template. So um, pretty simple template that I um, included. If you have templates of your own, we can likely get those pretty closely into Resio for you. Um, and we're happy to provide some, some coaching, some options here as well. Um, but starting us on the estimate, and um, from here, you can do several things. So we could do a, a bid request. We could do POs through here. Um, but I'm going to show a proposal to show how the clients, could, your clients could view this. Um, and then I'll show a change order as well. So from the estimate, create, I'm going to draft a new proposal, top right. It'll draft a document. Um, you can see I've done several proposals on this job, so I could rename it if I wanted to. Um, but the information on this document will pull straight from the estimate. So you'll see the, the categories and the items below it. If I went to three levels of detail on my estimate on the last screen, I could get even more granular on this. Um, but then I can pick and choose how much detail I actually want to share with my client or my, my potential client. Um, so just using those toggles over here to the right. And then at the bottom, I can see a total cost as well. I have this job set up as a cost plus job, so I'm showing the markups. Um, but if it were a fixed price job, could just show a total price as well. You can also show terms and conditions and then attach any supporting files at the bottom uh, if you'd like. But I will go ahead and release this out to a client. And now the really cool thing, one of the cool things about Resio is what we call a magic link system. What that does is allow you to communicate with clients and vendors without requiring that they have to log in with a password. So it just removes another hurdle from, from them using the system. Uh, in this case, I released this proposal out to the client. They would click on an email link and be brought right to that document. But this is what the client portal would look like. So action items always come to the top. This is the view on a phone. Um, but if I open it up, this would be the view on their desktop. Action items always come to the top. So proposal right here. They can click on it, message with any questions, download or print as well. Um, and they see what you just created. I'll go ahead and approve. And I'm going to go back to the estimate. So I'm back on the estimate now. I have that, that approved proposal. So what I'm going to do is lock the estimate in the top right. What that does is it sets the baseline on the job. It sets your original in your budget. And now we're sort of in track changes mode. So any change that I make to the estimate will be highlighted as a, as a change, as a pending change. Um, so that makes change orders super, super easy. So that could be adding scope or taking something away in the job. Um, but I'll go ahead and change a unit cost. I'll change a quantity. And you'll see those rows are auto highlighted in yellow and marked as a pending change. And now to do a change order, it's basically the exact same flow that I just did for a proposal. So again, top right, but this time I'll do a change order. Drafts the document. I could rename it if I want. Then I have these toggles over here to choose how much detail I want to share with the client. To set expectations or, or just communicate well with your client, you can also include an estimated schedule impact. But I'll release this. There goes that magic link email to your client. They would click on it and be brought to that document. This is what it would look like in their portal. If they click on it, they can view what you just created again. So same exact workflow as a proposal, but they just approved that change order. Now, you want that data to automatically be stored in a few different areas in Resio. One is the approvals tab. This is just an area for you to track all these documents and action items on the project. So you'll see up top um, bid requests and POs. I can track the status of my selections, um, but we've done a proposal and we just did a change order as well. Um, 
So on here, I can track <laughs> these different proposals. Um, obviously, I have a lot of data on this, this demo project, but um, you want to be able to easily track this and have it for reference. If I need to click on um, that document, I can see it there. The other place that you want to see this data flow is the budget. So the budget in Resio, um, this original column was populated when I locked the estimate two minutes ago in the top right. Um, then the approved column is updated after any approved change orders or selections. And then a lot of folks typically like this column right here, projected minus original, where you can just track um, those differences right here. Um, so that's just a couple workflows on the financial side, but I hope that gives a, a good glimpse of that interface and some of those workflows, specifically that magic link system and how your clients um, can interact with the system. Same goes for vendors if you're sending out a PO or a bid request. I'm going to move over to uh, more of the project management side of things. So I'll start with the schedule. Just like the estimate, I populated this from a template um, with some phases and underneath each phase, some, some tasks. Important thing to note on the schedule as well is that it's going to kind of look and feel like a spreadsheet. Compared to some older softwares, that makes it really, really easy for you to uh, make changes throughout a job. So as opposed to opening up some, some editor boxes and making changes to said duration uh, on the schedule, just being able to click right in and make those changes just like a spreadsheet makes it really nice. Um, and then in terms of getting more granular as well, I'm just right clicking right here and I can add subtasks. So if you have scheduled tasks that are actually made up of several tasks, um, just right clicking and adding those below. Um, now you can see these both make up the one task of dig footings, but I'll go ahead and delete that for now as well. So this list view over on the left, super, super easy, looks and feels like a spreadsheet. The nice thing about the Resio interface, kind of number two, the same point I like to highlight is um, you can stay on the same screen and just drag and drop to be able to view the Gantt chart. Um, I really like the Gantt chart and I've gotten good feedback uh, on the dependencies here. The visuals of those predecessors and successors and um, folks really like like being able to show if I move one thing out, how does it affect the rest of the job? And, and just having that clean visual is really nice. Um, so pretty simple there. We usually recommend that the schedule be used for the more planned tasks on the job is, is true schedule items. And then the to do's be the more one off ad hoc tasks on the project. So um, this is often, these are often created just from a phone or a tablet um, with a picture typically accompanying them. Um, you name it, folks will often use just voice to text to speak out the description of an item, give it a due date, and assign it to someone. That could be, you can assign it out to someone on your team or a vendor or even a client. But pretty simple there. Um, and last piece that I want to highlight um, for this short overview is the daily logs. So a couple of different things here. Um, I consider this piece the easiest tool in Resio, but it can be pretty powerful um, for internal reference or communication out to your client. Again, often done from a mobile phone, so um, builders will just take pictures directly through Resio. But since I'm a, on a computer, I'm, I'm uploading one. Um, it defaults to internal visibility, so this would just be internal reference for your uh, for your team, but if something looks really great or you want to communicate out to your client, you can also make it public. This description box right here can be templatized. So if you have a few bullet points that you want to capture every day or every couple of days, um, you can templatize that and then it's really easy um, just to record the update for that day. I went ahead and made this public. So when I post it, it will document both on my side of things, time and date stamped but also go out to the client portal as well. So back to the client portal, they get a quick update on their phone and they see that last log post right here. Um, so very, very simple, but can be powerful um, for reference down the line or just communication out to your client. Um, and then last but not least, I wanna show, um, it's under daily logs, but it's really more of a project summary. So I have a date range right here I have it a week going back and a week looking forward, um, and I'm going to hit generate. Resio is going to pull from the different parts of this project and different parts of the system 
and generate a typed report of what has happened within, within that date range and what's upcoming as well. So it'll pull from things like the daily logs and the schedule, um, like some of the financial action items as well. And you'll see it just generates this report. So you see we, we did one change order through here um, and we don't have anything upcoming as well. So I might delete those, uh, delete these things before potentially sharing this out with the client or just documenting internally. So um, what we see a lot of times is folks will send out like short updates every day or a couple of days, or maybe they just keep that internal. Um, and then Friday afternoon or once a week, sometimes they're sending out a more detailed uh, recap of what happened that week and then what's upcoming as well. So this, this AI summary will be really helpful in at least consolidating those notes and typing them up for you. And then feel free to add or um, take out anything uh, before sending that out to the client. And it just posts as a normal daily log. Um, so quick video, I know it's only been 11 minutes. We went over a couple of financial workflows, a couple of the more project management workflows and functionalities. Um, again, there's more to the system, but it's pretty simple. Uh, feel free to reach out with any questions, but I hope this was helpful to give you a glimpse of Vesio. Thanks.